This is Kaylee La, and I'm here with Darren Shear and Chris Machetti of Conspirator, and this is almost the end of the tour, second to last show. How are you guys doing? How's it been? Excellent. It's been great. You know, I, I kind of feel a little bit, a little bit like a poser because I kind of I hop on for like five, five shows, four or five shows, and I hop off. And uh, Machetti's been in for the long haul and uh, representing like you know he should. <laughs> he's, he's, what? <laughs> So, Darren, you just announced today that the new deal is officially done. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. This is a this is the exclusive. This is the exclusive this interview. Is. This is the first interview I've done, aside from doing my little uh, tour bus, um, you know, live live and direct from the tour bus mm -hmm. earlier this afternoon. Well, so what are your plans now? I mean, do you have any, or what's what's going on? I'm gonna become a shepherd. A shepherd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, you know what? Honestly, like it's it. it to make a long story short, because it's really not, it's not this big torrid, um, tr you know, dramatic thing. You know, the fact is, is uh, the New Deal, we've been playing together for 12 years. Uh, we love playing together. Um, our lives have sort of become different things individually. You know, my bass player lives uh, in London, England. Um, Jamie lives in Toronto, has two kids and a, you know, a, a sort of thriving commercial music business. Um, I live in Toronto. I do lots of different things too. You know, I, we do, uh, we we do like, we we do all these things separately, and we come together and we play uh, as the New Deal. And um, it's always great when we play. Um, the thing is, is that the amount of uh, the amount of dedication you really need to like and commitment you need to put into an operation like that, and really like continue to kick butt and expand and come back to markets like keep on building them it's it's a lot and um, I just think as a unit uh, it was really hard to do that it was hard to sort of figure out how we're gonna do that and uh, that's where we've we've come to the place where we're like you know what we we've, we've had some amazing shows in the past uh, you know a few months and you know we with you guys we did like like over 3,000 people in Chicago and and we've been like that was mostly you that, well just <laughs> mostly me personally actually you know no. That was the New Deal and Conspirator together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was a great show. I, awesome. Yeah, and uh, you know it's like we we I, I kind of I, I like to sort of uh, I liken it to Seinfeld. You know what I mean? You kind of go out on on a high, you know, as opposed to yeah. you going out like you know either when you're fisticuffs or you're or you're uh, you know just trying to like hang on to whatever you have left. And it's really we feel like musically where we are is 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 really great. It's a great sort of sign off mm -hmm. time for us, and. Um, you know, I just think it's it's right. You know, but that being said, like we're doing these run these shows, like this, the May shows are like the big ones that we're really pushing right now. Obviously, Virginia, uh, we're playing Richmond, Baltimore, Philly, and New York City, and then we're gonna be uh, doing uh, summer festivals. It's gonna be a blast, you know, and we're gonna like really take it out. It's there's no animosity. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not because of personal reasons or irreconcilable differences, that kind of stuff. It's really sort of trying to like uh, encapsulate an era of our lives musically and say this was awesome and now we're moving on. That's cool. Uh, Machete, what about Rack? What's going on with that? Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with Rack right now. We're, we're still sort of playing. We have a couple shows on the books and it's, um, it's just kind of mellow, I think. I don't think we ever, you know, we took a couple years off and then we played pretty much like maybe last year to the day, I think was the first year, first show back in New York. And uh, we played like 12 shows, I think, since then, and it's been good. You know, we wrote a lot of new material, but um, I think that, you know, I started in with Conspirator, and that's really fun, and I got my own, like, electronic stuff happening. And you got a dubstep project, right? Dubstep project. Oh, the the, stuff, be, the stuff this kid comes out with, man, like, I swear to God, like, just uh -huh. like the, like, like, molasses -y, you know, like, fiery cone out, you know what I mean? Just, just dope, you know? <laughs> love you, Darren. I love this guy. I know, everybody okay. loves Fascinate. Is that yeah, fa on Yeah, Facebook yeah, that's going to be on the new EP that we're putting out, um, hopefully oh. soon. We just finished mixing the songs, and it was a lot of fun. You were there. Is this Substation <laughs> that you're talking about? This uh, is SZA. SZA, SZA okay. yeah. So, but I have Substation playing a lot of the songs. He's sort of my, my DJ. Alright, and Substation really is DJ, you and but Barbara. It's, it's awesome that Barbara likes playing my songs, you cool. know, so... Awesome. Right, I guess so when does the EP come out? Uh, hopefully soon. I really don't know. We gotta just. I think we're just waiting on a couple couple touch ups and get them mastered, and then, you know, it's um it's more just like that. That's only gonna be a couple songs, and in the time since then, I got a whole bunch more songs. So 
I think when it does come out, it'll be cool because we'll be ready with a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I Have just keep you on been, writing. Uh, making music while you've been on tour. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this this we've been out for like we had two weeks off, and in that two weeks, I I made um, a whole bunch of stuff, and it was really intense. You know, I kind of go home and just lock myself in my studio and just don't stop making music. Do you think you'll continue playing with Conspirator throughout the summer as well? Well, we have so, like we have a show. I'm playing um, uh, some shows with, yeah, with yeah with you guys, and um, you know we're looking at like some other things. Sure, you know, like I always love getting the hey Darren, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? That was my favorite. My favorite one was it was like like like, I, like I'm getting the the <laughs> coke in there. Well, I'm, but um, <laughs> I get the call on December. It's like Christmas Day. And of course, like Mark Brownstein calling me on Christmas Day, Darren, what are you doing on December 28th? <laughs> you know, and, and of, of course it ended up being, I, I, repl I replaced Alan for, for a set um, uh, when he was, uh, he was, uh, he had fallen, well, he, he had an asthma attack. He's fine now. But, um, and I love getting those calls, those random calls. And, and then I began getting calls for, uh, for Conspirator 2. And, and uh, it's been a great, it's been a great time. I don't think I would turn down you know, I don't think I would ever turn down playing with you guys. Huh. Um, and um, totally different thing than than a different animal than the New Deal. You know, I'm playing with a click, playing along with track. Um, like if if I'm not sure if the Shred all of the listening viewing audience uh, gets that, but we're basically playing all along with track, and I'm also have a click kind of thing going on. So it's it's a bit more rigid, but it's also um, but yet liberating because you can kind of do different things than you would if uh, if it was just you like playing drums. Like no other, nothing, nothing else happening. So um, I love it. Uh, you know, we'll definitely continue doing it. Cool. So has Spider Coco been an integral part of your touring experience? Can I tell you that I've had, and I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not being paid any money by this company, but I've had probably like twelve of these in the last three days. <laughs> I, I love them. I, 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 they're good. And you know what's funny in Toronto? The, like co coconut water is a big deal in Toronto, Canada, and uh, when there, whenever there's a drought, you can't get any. Um, coconut water anywhere and uh so what do you mean a, a drought in canada yeah we are you guys get drought dude it gets hot in toronto really like hot like i'm talking like really hot like huh. celsius hot and is that a drought or is it just hot it's a drought <laughs> not a drought it's a drought <laughs> and so you just go in the hoose and i go in the hoose drink regular i play live water? progressive hoose music <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so that so and, and i i get dehydrated like really easily because i sweat like a fiend on stage so you know? It's true. He sweats a lot. <laughs> I feel bad when I can see him covered in sweat. Michelle, do you feel like Dubstep's dying? No, I think it's, uh, well, I don't know. You know, Which after Ultra, I don't know what to say. Like, it was definitely not dying. I mean, it's huge. But it was one of the smaller stages. Like, the, that Dubstep sort of world, the tower stage, was, was one of the smaller stages there. But... Dubstep is like the drum and bass of like 2000. Yeah, I, I wonder what's... It's definitely going to evolve. It's, it's on the verge of like bursting into something else. The thing that's crazy about Dubstep is that at Ultra, everyone's there. And everyone's playing everyone else's tracks. So one after the other, it just becomes like the same like... Whew, like what is... Ha like didn't you just... And he just... And we all are just... What the hell is going on here? But I love it. You know, I, I love all that stuff. Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Yeah, Thank you, you well. guys so much for talking with us today. Thank um, you. Be sure to check out this interview on Brainchild Media on Facebook and check out Conspirator this summer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you do it. Sample that. That's good. <laughs> That's a new totally one. Awesome. 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 Awes